Sacrifice of peace offerings unto the Lord with the basket of unleavened bread. The priest shall offer also his meat offering and his drink offering. And the Nazarite shall shave the head of his separation at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And shall take the hair of the head of his separation and put it in the fire which is under the sacrifice of the peace offerings. And the priest shall take the sodden shoulder of the ram and one unleavened cake out of the basket and one unleavened wafer and shall put them upon the hands of the Nazarite after the hair of his separation is shaven. And the priest shall wave them for a wave offering before the Lord. This is holy for the priest, with the wave breast and heave shoulder. And after that, the Nazarite may drink wine. This is the law of the Nazarite who hath vowed, and of his offering unto the Lord for his separation, beside that that his hand shall get, according to the vow which he vowed, so he must do after the law of his separation. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and unto his son, saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious. Numbers chapter 1 And the Lord spake unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, in the tabernacle of the congregation, on the first day of the second month, in the second year after they were come out of the land of Egypt, say, Take ye the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel after their families, by the house of their fathers, with the number of their names, every male by their poles, from twenty years old and upward, all that are able to go forth to war in Israel. Thou and Aaron shall number them by their armies, and with you there shall be a man of every tribe, every one head of the house of his fathers. And these are the names of the men that shall stand with you, of the tribe of Reuben, Elizer, the son of Shedir, of Simeon, Shalumio, the son of Zorashaddai, of Judah, Nashan, the son of Amenadab, of Issachar, Nathaniel, the son of Zur, of Zebulun, Eliab, the son of Helan, of the children of Joseph, of Ephraim, Elishua, the son of Amiad, of Manasseh, Gamaliel, the son of Pedazer, of Benjamin, Abidan, the son of Gideonai, of Dan, Ahiezer, the son of Amashadai, of Asher, Pagiel, the son of Akron, of Gad, Eliasaph, the son of Duel, of Naphtali, Ahira, the son of Enan, these were the renowned of the congregation, princes of the tribes of their fathers, heads of thousands in Israel. And Moses and Aaron took these men, which are expressed by their names, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from twenty years old and upward by their poles. As the Lord commanded Moses, so he numbered them in the wilderness of God. And the children of Reuben, Israel's eldest son, by their generations, and for their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names by their poles, every male from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the name. tribe of Reuben, were forty and six thousand and five hundred. Of the children of Simeon, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, those Thank that were you. numbered of them, according to the number of the names by their poles, oh, you're in the every hospital. male from twenty years old and upward, all the Praise graves to go you. forth to war, those that were numbered of them, even up and, and three hundred. Of the children of Gad, by their generations, Lord, after their families, by the house of their fathers, Sawa, according to the number of the names from twenty years old and upward, all the graves that go forth to war, and those that were numbered of them, to even of the tribe of Gad, were forty and five thousand, six hundred and fifty. 
of the children of Judah by their generations after their families by the house of their fathers according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward all that were able to go forth to war those that were numbered of them even of the tribe of Judah were three score and fourteen thousand and six hundred of the children of Issachar by their generations after their families by the house of their fathers according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward all that were able to go forth to war those that were numbered of them even of the tribe of Issachar were fifty and four thousand and four hundred of the children of Zebulun by their generations after their families by the house of their fathers making more content video soon because twenty years old and upward all that were able to go forth I'm not doing as much harsh work as I was doing on my house tribe of Zebulun were fifty and seven thousand and four hundred of the children of Joseph namely of the children of Ephraim by their generations okay. after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, I hope from you get better. And upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Ephraim, were forty thousand and five hundred. Of the children of Manasseh, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the I names, the from Lord twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Manasseh, were thirty and two thousand and two hundred. Of the children of Benjamin, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number now. of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Benjamin, were thirty and my five thousand so and four hundred. I'm sorry, the guys. Them, this is my their generations, my phone. Their families, that I have to get by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Dan, were three score oh, and yes, two thousand. Oh yes, so I do have problems. Of the children of Asher by their but generations. But I pray to the Lord and the He helps me get through everything. The number of the names from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Asher, I depend were three on Jesus. These are those that were numbered, which Moses and Aaron numbered, and the princes of Israel, being twelve men, each one was for the house of his fathers. So were all those that were numbered many, many of the children times, of and God has delivered me from twenty years old and upward. All that were able to go forth to war in Israel, even all they that were numbered, were six hundred thousand and three thousand and five hundred and fifty. But yes, the Levites, after the tribe of their fathers, were not numbered among them. For the Lord had spoken unto Moses, saying, Only thou shalt not number the tribe of Levi. Not the guys the plans the for the day. Of Israel. But thou shalt appoint the Levites over the tabernacle of testimony, and over all the vessels thereof, and over all things that belong to it. They shall bear the tabernacle and all the vessels thereof. You're going to a festival. And they shall minister unto it, and shall encamp what, cool. around what time the tabernacle. What time is it where you are? And when the tabernacle setteth forward, the Levite shall take it down. And when the tabernacle is to be pitched, the Levite I'm gonna go shall take set it my down, daughters to school. And the stranger that cometh nigh shall be put to death. And the children of Israel shall pitch their tents. And every man by his own standard throughout their hosts. But the Levite shall pitch round about the tabernacle of testimony. Let there be no wrath upon the congregation of the children of Israel. There's nowhere near a time for us to go, but. Oh, Sakar. That's probably nice. I've never heard of that. Oh, that's probably nice. I've never heard of that. Shall be captain of the children of Judah, and his host, and those that were numbered of them were threescore and fourteen thousand and six hundred. And those that do pitch next unto him shall be the tribe of Issachar. What is the festival and Athaniel, thing? The son of Zur shall be captain of the children of what Issachar. What type of festival are you going to see? Are were fifty and four thousand and four hundred. Then the tribe of Zebulun, and Eliab the son of Elon, shall be captain of the children of Zebulun. 
and his host Ooh. and those that were numbered there so long to do this. And all that were numbered in the camp of Judah. I hope you guys like it. This is the hair color, the hairstyle that I'll be in <laughs> the next few weeks in my videos. On my lives. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm pretty good. It's early. It's five. It's six o'clock here in the morning. Six a.m. about my grandmother the other day when she passed away and I had found out that somebody was been doing witchcraft on me so they sent the familiar spirit to my um, dreams so they can gather up information on me and they've been trying to curse me for the past um, past few weeks because I went to go visit a um, a, a, a friend and I thought they were um, a good person but they were actually a wizard so they had put a spell on me because we had got into an argument and I believe that they put a spell on my life and I'm, I've been praying to God to um, remove this spell off of my life to keep me from being hindered and um so they pitched I've been getting through pretty good but I, I thought the dream was like I thought my grandma was like, Chapter three. I thought it was like the truth, but like it was a real Aaron dream Moses until I started doing some research, and I figured, why am I having dreams about my grandmother, is this a good sign, and they said that it was um, a curse put on my life. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, the priests which were anointed, who be consecrated to minister in Thank the priest's you. office. And Nadab and Abihu died before the so Lord. So I asked when they God to deliver me from the curse, the and I've been doing really good. I've been no prospering the right and way. And Eliezer and Ithamar um, ministered in the priest's office. I guess somebody in my family that used to be a witch, or they used to practice witchcraft and do tarot card readings. So it's been like a curse on my family, and I had asked my um, asked God to help um. I repent to, the to God of the for my family and myself, and, and everything has been going good so far after that. And the charge of the children of Israel but at first, I was the just of the tabernacle. thinking this dream was and real, the and somebody Aaron told me that I need to um, repent because one of my ancestors may have been a witch in the past Israel, or a wizard. And thou shalt and, um, Aaron and his sons, and they shall wait on their now priest's I know office. The truth. On why and I the stranger that, that cometh nigh shall be put to death. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, And I, behold, I have taken the Levites from among the children yes, of Israel, will. instead of all the first Ever that since I've been seeking God, I've been like free of pain Therefore, the Levites and shall be mine. Because I used all the to um, have really terrible um, the stomach that problems, all the and in the land of it was a scripture in the Bible that was numbers. They were saying that man and 
the woman, she, she accepted a blessing, but it was a um, jealousy blessing, and she, she had um, drunk water, and they put, it, um, they put a curse on her with her belly swell, and that's why I stopped committing my sins, because I try to give, give up all my sins, because I believe I had that same curse on me when I was on um, doing the worldly things Barara, like fornicating and, and these are the names of the sons being of Persia negative by their families and wishing bad and things on people and the sons of Kohath like by I, their would, I would find Amram people's downfalls as a um positive and the sons of Marari like I thought that families, was God delivering me from Nishan. that person but it was actually um, God was looking at me as a bad person because he didn't want me to um Rejoice in other people's downfall. So I learned to um, treat people with kindness. And even though that my grandmother passed, I, I um, was able to heal through that and get through that. So now I, you know, I live a more um, enjoyable life and it's filled with hope and, you know, hope and prosperity. And the hanging for the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And the hangings of yes. the court and the curtain for the door of the court. But but, but it but it doesn't hurt now. That's the difference. At first my belly was like really swelled up and stuff and like that. Was the family and the now it's just and like whatever I eat, right. it can still digest, but my stomach still making my stomach still makes the noises, but it, it's not swollen anymore. All the males from a month old and upward were eight thousand and six hundred, keeping the charge of the sanctuary. And this, this swelling that I had, it was from years ago for like at least 10 years, but I never knew the problem until I started like reading the Bible again, and I, and I found out that I had that same curse that that woman had. And the vessels of the sanctuary wherewith they minister, and the hangings and all the service thereof. And Eliezer, the son yeah, of Aaron, the priest, the shall right be now. chief over the chief of the Levites, and have the oversight of them that keep the charge of the sanctuary. Of Marari was the family of the Malites, and the family of the Bushites. Thank These are you. the families of Marari, and those that were numbered of them according to the number of all the males from a month old and upward were six thousand and two hundred. And the chief of the house of the father of the families of Marari was Zuriel, the son of Abihail. These shall pitch on the side of the tabernacle northward, and under the custody and charge of the sons of Marari yeah, shall so be the lords of the tabernacle. He... When he has made her drink the, the water, the it then it shall be. The if she has defined herself and, and behave unfaithfully and towards her husband, that water that that brings a curse will enter her and become bitter, and her belly will swell. Her thigh will rot, and the woman will become cursed among her people. So that's in Numbers chapter 5, verse 27. And it's, it's saying, like, she was unfaithful to her husband, and people need to know with, like, ungodly um, soul ties. Like, when you have fornication with someone outside of marriage, that means that you're in the spiritual realm, you're you're really married to that person because of uh, uh, intimacy is supposed to be spiritual. It's supposed to be a covenant between two people. So it was like I was married to somebody, but I wasn't really married in the um, human form. And basically I moved on to the next person. So there was like fornication and um, adultery at the same time. So what it said is like she the lady she um it said that she um she defined herself and behave unfaithfully and that's something that i did in the spiritual realm because i moved on to the next relationship and i fornicated with that person and it said um that he made her drink the water and it put a curse on her belly and made it be, it made her belly swell and become and she became bitter so that was part of my problem. Like I kept fornicating outside of marriage and stuff like that. And that's the type of curse that women get when they um, keep doing that stuff. I was listening to the Bible. So if you have stomach problems and you're, you're fornicating, it could be happening to you too. Because it doesn't matter if it's a woman or a man. It, it could still happen.
So yeah, that's another thing. Like, if once you get into the Bible and stuff like that, God will reveal to you the problems that you're having. And it will add up because all these scriptures in the Bible, it really shows like what you're doing. And then you will become to notice like the reasons why you're having these problems. Like it's, it's certain curses that's in the world, like the curse of the spirits that's in the world. And they're really the devil. It's like jealousy, envy, pride, um, idolatry, fornication, adultery, and all those. If you do, if you commit those sins, you will have curses upon your life, and your life will begin to go wrong. And when you when you stop these um these curses and stuff like that, it, stop these um sins. The curses will be lifted upon your life up off of your life, and you will become able to do the things that God put you here for. Like your purpose, the purpose that He put you here for is to save His people and to um, be prosperous. He will bless you after you start doing this stuff for Him. And you start leading people to Him, He will start blessing you. No, my natural hair is um, brown. It's like a brownish black color. It even has like tints of red because I tried to dye it, but it was an organic dye, so it didn't taste fully. Yeah, you can. You sure can. All you have to do is ask. You can do what Jesus did and greater. And, and and when it says you could do all things through Christ, you just you you basically ask for the stuff and you put it in Jesus' name. Like that's that's basically what I interpret from that. That's good. Yeah, because once you really get into the Bible and pray to God about this struggles you're having and the fruits that you bear, like if you're struggling with negativity and all that stuff, that's considered bad fruit. So. What you want to do is you want to pray to ask God to um, lift you from this these curses upon your life. Like, you know, um, like nervousness, anxiety, and all this stuff. And you will come to produce good, better fruits like courage, um, prosperity, um, enlightenment, and all that other stuff. Those are That's the stuff that God considers fruits like... A sound mind, blessings, forgiveness. It doesn't have to always be material things. Because cause God, God, he wants you to be prosperous, but he doesn't want you to worship material things. So what he's going to do is put you in a, in a bind to where you um, you go to him first. And when you, when you go to him first, you can get blessed in the right way and like if you if you get blessed from the devil which is the blessings that when witches get um blessed they put curses on people and they take other people's gifts from them they get blessed but then they have problems in the end of the day they have anxiety they have stress they have jealousy envy and those are all bad things like that's that's the those are all the bad things that people don't want in their life even though they have um good blessings and stuff like that basically they still have curses on them of like jealousy spirits and the demon can come and take their they can the demon can come into their presence anytime because they're not really being protected by god Yes, he 
even though the system is demonic and they're trying to take all of our power from us and stuff like that, if you follow God, you could still be led into the right path to where you overcome these um, Jezebel spirits for this government and everything like that. Because what the Jezebel spirit is, it's controlling and it's, um, it's manipulative. So anything that with this government is all demonic and it's it's um it's all witchcraft they put you in a bind to keep you stuck and keep you under their their spell to do what they want you to do and if you seek god god will lead you to another path and help you find your purpose the things that he wants you to do so that you become prosperous You don't need to let those when people push you away from your gifts that's called witchcraft and those people are the people that's taking your gifts and using it for themselves they putting a curse on you anybody who talks negative on, on about you or does anything to hinder your blessings and your growth that's witchcraft you need to like ask god to um to um renounce all of those spirits from your life and you will be able to be more positive and think better about your situation and um you know you will be able to be more confident in what you want to do keep doing it regardless of what people say those people who have demonic spirits anything negative is demonic so you want to be able to ask god to renounce those spirits and repent for any ancestors that put a curse on upon your life and your blessings because some family members put curses on you too and they tell you that you can't do that and you're not you're not um gonna pers um prosper in what you're trying to do and that's what you call a curse and you don't want to let people like that get to you you want to pray to god about that and ask him to to deliver you from any curses that's been put on your life about somebody telling you that you can't do anything and that you won't be anything in life you don't want to let people curse your life um that way you want to just ask god to deliver you from that and help ask him to help you um find out what his purpose is for you and he will he will bring that he will bring that for you and he will help you get through whatever people are talking about just like me when i when i had a problem i didn't know how to start making youtube videos and i used to um be scared of what people don't think and stuff like that and try to compare myself to other people and say oh well that's not what they're doing but if if god wants you to do something he's gonna let you do that and people are you know the right people will gravitate to you and the people that tries to um tries to push you away from that dream there that's a demonic spirit in those people so th that way you know how to handle that you know how to ignore those people yeah go ahead tell me come on i'm excited So I've been able to tell the future for about four years with your belly button based on the shape and the type. It, it's weird, but it works. Is it okay if I tell you about it? Well, I don't want you to base me off of my belly button, but I guess it's okay. Chapter 5. And the Lord spake unto Moses, say, I don't, I don't, I don't really believe anybody can tell me about my future, but God. But I would be interested in hearing about it still, just to, so I, could, if it happens, I could look back and tell whether um, it's true or not.
As the Lord spake unto Moses, so did the children of Israel. Just like horoscopes and stuff like that, I don't believe in that because I don't let people base base me off of what the horoscope system is talking about. Nobody can tell the way I am in the in behind. Yeah, tell me. Nobody can tell me me the way that I am. It's a lot of Aquariuses that they claim that I'm light, but some Aquariuses commit murder and go to prison, so nobody can base me off of a horoscope. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't believe in horoscopes. But I believe in what you're talking about right now because I want to hear it. Are you still going to tell me? If I could tell you, if I could tell yours, would that be okay? If not, that's fine. Tell me. You gonna message me, or you just gonna say it in the chat? I just have to, to look at what type of shape your belly one is, man. You tell me what you want to know. <laughs> So have you seen my belly button before in my videos? Seen my, have you seen it before? I have a flower belly button. Literally. It's literally like a circle in the middle and like I can't even see my belly button no more. It's, it's stuck in. about five six six flowers six petals and one um let me see let me see yeah so yeah this lady she had this rotten she had this swollen belly and her thigh rotted and that's the same problem i had like i had like a, a um like my the side of my thigh it was like in so much pain like i had a bruise but i couldn't even see a bruise that's the same bible verse that relates to me but i just started seeking god again uh maybe i mean it's probably been for like seven or eight months back because i because i used to go to church uh, about two years ago but i had stopped going to church because of my kids great-grandmother she she kind of um she was a witch and she tried to run me out of the church by talking negative about all the other people happy birthday she she ran me out of the church and she was a witch and um she um used to talk negative about all the um people in the church and she caused me to divide from the church so i had started back committing sins again and it caused me to um keep going in the same pattern with my belly button with my stomach problems This is my favorite news. <laughs> so yeah. That same scripture is related to my life. 
And I got a pimple on my forehead. I'm hungry. I'm going, I'm about to drop my kids off at school and I'm going to um, clean out my car. So that's what I'm about to head to do and I'm staying on live. I got housework to do after that. Thank God they have a half day. I can use that time to clean out my car and um, get organized. I have to be a lift in about three weeks, maybe longer than that, maybe like a month. And um, I have to be at any of my gig jobs. I haven't did any of my app jobs and
Can you hear me now? Wow. Yeah, so what I was saying is I I have been getting my house done and um I have been staying away from sins and stuff like that. And I have went I have went to visit somebody and they put a curse on me and they tried to put another curse on me and they told me oh it's okay they was like it's okay if you um fornicate if you have sex before marriage or whatever god gives you free will so i turned the person down because i know that i've been getting really good blessings and stuff lately and when i um when i turned that person down from from fornicating with them they they called me a bunch of names they told me that i wasn't all that and i that i was um that i that i was too full of myself like i thought too highly of myself which i really don't but i just know that that person was deep and i know how to deal with those type of people because the people that try to tell you that you can't do something and they try to tell you that you're not something that God that you already have in your mind that you are those people are the they, those people are demon possessed and they have demonic spirits on them so they try to they try to tell you something that you They try to tell you stuff that's not even related to you and that's 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 the devil through the people that's trying to hinder you and you know once once you figure out that god what god can do for you when you try to follow him versus what he never did for you because you wasn't following him then you will learn that you do need to change and that you're not going to get these blessings unless you change and follow his path like like before i was all depressed and all that and stuff like that and i and i told myself i was like if i fornicate with this person that's they're gonna put a spirit on me it's gonna be a jezebel spirit and that's gonna make me want to lust after every you know this person and try to do all these simple things and and i'm relieved because god took all these sins out of my life like i'm no longer just sitting in the bed thinking about men all day like think about crying over no man or something like that and i and i didn't want those same sins to come those same spirits to come over my life so i didn't end up i didn't end up doing nothing with him and i noticed like when i came back home i was kind of irritated by the situation for the for the couple days but then like i i had to remember like this person was demon possessed like it's not really him we don't battle we don't battle against flesh and buzz but it's it's about spirits and principalities and that means that that the person that try to do you wrong it's not them it's the devil that's in them the devil has taken over their their power and they think that they're just all mighty mighty and that they're like god and stuff like that but that's not the case these people are demon possessed they have a demonic spirit in them a jezebel spirit they want to control you they want to manipulate you into doing stuff that they want to do they want you to do it's something like a narcissist a person that now if a person if a person want to wait to get married and try to convince you that they're the right person for you or something like that that's not being a narcissist that's just following up that's just sticking to your standards and trying to grow with god but a person that tries to tell you that you can't be something in life and try to control you and try to um manipulate you like buy you stuff just to um just to please you so they can get into your you know your flesh and stuff like that and your your presence that's a jezebel spirit and those people that you need to stay away from because they're demon possessed they have a demonic spirit 
and they're gonna try to they're gonna get mad at you when you don't do what they want when they when you don't do what they want you to do narcissism is a spirit it's it's a demon it's a demonic spirit that people have on them to make them want to make them want to control you and manipulate you just like the system they try to manipulate us into thinking that school is gonna benefit us and stuff like that can you get up really quick it is it school does benefit people in a way but if god doesn't if that's not your purpose then then that's a that's a form of witchcraft when people they try to tell you that you need to go to school for this many years and just like the hospitals jail and the school they're all they're all um set up the same way what the freak what happened can you move really quick wow i lost my stuff Oh my God, see, it's the devil. Yeah, so. That's why, that's why I was able to get a lot of stuff done without having to pay anybody, without having to like call somebody and to be in my presence because I've been doing the right thing, like. I gotta go all the way back in here just to get. I'm sorry guys, one second. Move really quick. Move real quick.
yes ma'am we don't mess with those demons we are god's children we follow god around here yes yes we do because that's one thing people don't know that they can they can try to form witchcraft and everything and get blessings all they want to but they still gonna have demons haunting them in the end of the day they're gonna either be depressed they're gonna have a spirit of rejection which is which is why a lot of men they they try to um tell people not to date anymore they have a spirit of um what is it called a spirit of spirit it's a spirit of divination where they where they cause people to divide like a person that that talked about people in the church they all have a spirit of divination and they talk about other church members so that way people can um go against the pastor or they can go against they can go against other people in the church and they won't have faith in the church anymore so they end up leaving the church when that person is really <laughs> sent by God, just just because one pastor has did something doesn't mean that all pastors do something. Just because one does something, women are like that. Tell you that, oh, we're. But that's not what God wants for you. He wants you to have a relationship be fruitful upon the nation. But the devil is blocking that because he is, people are doing witchcraft and they putting different spirits on people, which causing them to um, be spirit, spiritually narcissistic and try to control other people. And they and he fear the lust of these men and they're going out and cheating. But not every man is like that. If they follow in Christ, everybody is not the same. And people practice a lot of new age. Which is like, people just follow their own standards and they, they think they're their own. They lead themselves into their own understanding. And they give, um... They get turned over to a reprobate mind because God has washed their hands with these people and he going to let them do whatever they want to because he want them to know that they don't need to follow what they want to do. They need to follow him. They need to follow what he wants for them to do. And they, they're, they're not going to get in it until stuff starts crashing down on them. for you because of it that's a good that's a fun gift but i don't know if that's a, that's a, a form of witchcraft or not because as long as you i don't know as long as you're not doing it as a in a negative way like some some tarot card readers they go to they go to different um they contact different uh spirits like familiar spirits and they they will go um you would tell them that that you want something and they would snatch that blessing from you so that's a negative some people do witchcraft and they do it negatively like they try to put curses on people and they try to uh like and you know they do, do you believe in burn, burning sage and stuff like that like do you believe in crystals and stuff like that I'm not doing it negatively at all. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so sage and crystals. It's 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 um all that does for people is that it brings in demons. It doesn't actually cleanse people's bad energy out your house. It brings demons in. Because the devil knows that you, you, you're you depending on this object to um, instead of depending on God. And it, it opens doors for the devil to come in because he, he sees that you're not depending on God for this help. You're depending on these, this sage and these crystals. 
and the, the devil perverted those items they probably have been good in the past but the devil perverted it so they now people go worship it and say oh this is going to help bring evil spirits out of my house let me just sage my house instead of going to jesus they go to the sage and they they spread 